There's one thing that people who are evolving their consciousness consciously should know about getting triggered. And it may not be what you think. So if you're interested in this, stick around. It's interesting, isn't it? Getting triggered nowadays um, in this society that we live in. Well, what is getting triggered? Just for some of us that may not know. Getting triggered is having an emotional reaction to something that somebody's done. You know, this word narcissist is used a, an awful lot nowadays, isn't it? And as soon as we get triggered, sometimes there can be this desire to throw that narcissist word at somebody else. But really, a lot of this is just coming from maybe a little bit of blame inside. Um, perfectly fine, but you're gonna hurt the other person and you're gonna hurt yourself in this process too. There's one thing that we should know about getting triggered. And before I tell you that, down below there's a freedom toolkit which you're more than welcome to use. It's not fully made yet. It's coming very, very soon within the next couple of weeks. And if you sign up, you'll be the first one to receive it. It contains sadhana, so your daily practice, lectures and some mindset training. But speaking about mindset training, this is really important you should be triggered. Life should trigger you. And you know why? Because it's really healthy to get that stuff up and out. Life's actually trying to help you by showing you where you may have not looked inside that we might still be a bit squishy. Where there might just still be some unresolved stuff. Now, our triggers may not even come from the outside. They might, we might just trigger ourselves on the inside, but this is fuel for our growth. This is grist for the mill, isn't it? And the most powerful way, usually, to find out where we might be a little bit squidgy still is in relationship with other people, isn't it? This is why we're trying to cut out this whole idea of I'm going to go into avoidance tactic, run away to the Himalayas and do my meditation there and stay away from society for years because this isn't living yoga. This is isolation yoga. And whilst it's natural for there to maybe be a period of isolation where we look inside, isn't it, and do the deep work of changing our beliefs to create that inner freedom, that inner liberation in life, Going and living in a cave nowadays isn't appropriate. We've got to learn the yoga and then we've got to be able to live it in our lives. Nothing says I'm not free <laughs> like being high in a cave and then coming back to society and that high being a conditional high because I've just met my sister uh, and she's had a go at me. Oh, well, I'm not high anymore. Well then, in a way, living yoga you know, because we've got to live it, might be the way for us, isn't it? So, getting triggered is a good thing. Some people have this divine idea, or this divine right that they should never be triggered as they walk through life, isn't it? But life, of course, is always going to trigger you. Like, I wonder, like, maybe have we become soft? <laughs> because for me, you know, if I'm getting triggered, this is healthy. I know where to grow, I know where to look at inside of myself. Now, this is very different though from having a natural response. For example, let's say anger. Say somebody sends you a horrible message or something. There's going to be a natural anger there. We might have to put a boundary up afterwards, but there's going to be a natural anger there. You're never going to change that. But when we're talking about being triggered, we're talking about these repeated cycles that keep seeming to come up inside of ourselves, isn't it? Ooh just been triggered by that thing again tends to be the thing that I say to myself <laughs> I don't know about you it seems to be a repeating karmic cycle behind of it well these they should trigger us because they're probably pointing a little bit deeper inside to perhaps a samskara or a, a root a seed of a wound inside of ourselves that's probably creating karma for us through thought or these triggers and then through action acting out of those triggers which has a pro you know a big karmic consequence usually 
doesn't it? Because then we start affecting the lives of other people and it's our responsibility to sort that out. Should we wish to take on that challenge? And that's what freedom's about, isn't it? It's about accepting everybody else as they are and saying, I'm ungovernable. <laughs> you know, whatever you say, it might create a reaction, it might create um, some anger or something, for example, but I'm certainly not going to be holding on to this and continually then holding on to this trigger. It could be a natural consequence, and then perhaps a boundary might be set in there. So I think that's the one thing that sometimes we forget on this journey, isn't it? Is that we definitely should be triggered. And every time we are, it's a blooming good thing. Now, that's not to say, as I mentioned earlier, that taking some, if we're getting triggered a lot, that taking some time out of society just for a little moment, you know, to really do the deep work, like the yogis, what would they do? The yogis would have to reinvent themselves again and again and again. Naturally, you're going through that much transformation, that much change, that every time you came to teach, you'd be completely new and you'd have to reinvent yourself and say, hey, here's how it is now. I've just gone through my own little process of that myself. And as you can see by the slimming cheeks, the sardine is working, but of course it's not about that at all. It's about clearing ourselves out, isn't it? So that we can set a fresh in intention, a fresh perspective to move forward from. But we damn well should get triggered. So here's to accepting and maybe even relishing and jumping into opportunities where you might get triggered. Because that's a character building technique that will make you very, very strong and quite frankly, unwithable. And that's really what freedom's about. Lots of love. Namaste.